All right, guys, it is Saturday night again, and as always, I am so super excited for tonight's snack and a movie. As you guys know, tomorrow is the Super Bowl. Now, I don't know how many of you care about the Super Bowl. I may or may not watch it, but I'll tell you one thing. I do love tonight's movie, which is a football movie, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. The movie that I'm talking about is Little Giants. This movie stars Rick Moranis from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and it is absolutely hilarious. I love it so much. It's about the little peewee football teams, also starring Ed O'Neill from Married with Children. Guys, this is one of my favorite football movies of all time. And the best part is that right now it is available to watch for absolutely no cost on Tubi, T-U-B-I. Go to Tubi, watch this movie. Tonight, we are making Chicken Little Flea Flickers as our snack to watch with Little Giants. Chicken Little Flea Flicker on two. Take it. Okay. Chicken Little Flea Flicker on two. Pitch to Johnny! You can't pitch to Johnny! I'm Johnny! Guys, I am so excited to get started on this snack. It's gonna be so delicious. Depending on how many people you're gonna be feeding, you might wanna grab this six pound bag of chicken tenderloins, boneless, skinless, chicken tenderloins from Sam's Club. This was only 20 bucks. Six pounds, chicken breast tenderloins, boneless, skinless, ready to cook. This was a deal. They are frozen, so the first thing we need to do is just get some out and thaw them. Look at this, these are the perfect size. They're like little chicken spears. I'm just gonna put a handful of them in a Ziploc and stick them in this basin in the sink here. Fill that up with hot water. That'll kind of speed up the process of uh, thawing those out. Now, honestly, guys, you can make these in so many different ways. It all comes down to whatever your preference is. You can use barbecue. You can use Italian seasoning. I'm just going to make a little mix of things to put these in. All right, we got ground black pepper. Of course, we want to use some salt. Hmm, here's some smoky barbecue. Maybe we'll mix a little bit of that in. Look at this. We got the slap your mama. We are not going to use that, although here's some garlic powder. We're going to use some of that. Ooh, here's fajita seasoning. Seasoning, that would be really good. Although I don't want to get too many different flavors in here, but I do want to find my uh, Italian seasonings here. Where the heck are they? Well, I guess we'll just have to go with the garlic and herb, but I definitely also want to use some Parmesan cheese. So this is what we're going to use for our mixture that we're going to coat our chicken with. We got the garlic and herb. We have some smoky barbecue, ground black pepper, garlic powder. Of course, we have the salt and some Parmesan cheese. We're going to need a baking sheet, parchment paper, a bowl to mix up our coating and a smaller bowl for our egg wash. All right, put our parchment paper on the baking sheet and then we take the big bowl and we're just gonna start mixing together our concoction that's going to be the coating on the chicken. Now, when it comes to doing something like this, I'm not big on like measuring stuff out. I just kind of look at it and I go, okay, I know that garlic powder is pretty dang strong, so we don't want to put a ton of that in there. We are going to use kind of a lot of Parmesan cheese, but pretty much anything else, you can just kind of shake it in there and be like, okay, I think that's enough of that. I think that's enough of that. And if you're not familiar with anything that you're using, you can always just kind of put a little bit on your finger and taste it and see how strong it is because you definitely don't want any one flavor overpowering the rest. Unless you specifically want it to taste mostly like the smoky barbecue or something like that. If you really want a lot of garlic in there, feel free. 
It's your own tastes. Otherwise, we're just going to mix this all up and get it ready for the chicken. All right, so let's go ahead and start out with the smoky barbecue here. That smells pretty dang good. We're going to go ahead and just sprinkle, I don't know, a pretty good amount in there. I think that amount should be good. We definitely want to taste it. We just don't want it to overpower. We're going to do the garlic and herb next. That looks like that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and do some salt here. A little bit of the black pepper. That was a lot of black pepper. Yikes. This is the side that I used to pour it. I shouldn't have done that. I should have used the sprinkle side. Oh well, will not be a problem in the end. We got the garlic powder here. We're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that because we already had garlic in the garlic and herb. And then the Parmesan cheese is gonna be like the base of this whole thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the top off of this. Put a good amount of that in there and just start mixing this up really good. You could also do this in a big Ziploc bag and just shake it all together, but doing it in a bowl with a fork allows you to break up those big chunks of that uh, Parmesan cheese and really get it mixed up good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this smoky barbecue. There we go. Get that mixed up good. Mmm, yeah, that smells good. I love the smell of that smoky barbecue. And when you have it all mixed up, then you can just kind of smell it and see if it even smells like something that might be overpowering. The most that I smell in here is the grated Parmesan and that smoky barbecue. So even though I did put in more black pepper than I want, I can't even smell it in there so it's not going to be overpowering. This is going to be good. So our chicken is just about thawed. It's only been in there for about 20 minutes so that went really quick since the pieces of chicken are so small. We're going to put a couple of eggs in this bowl, scramble them up to use as our egg wash which just means we're going to dip our chicken in there to get it wet so that all of our seasonings will stick to it good. And I'm going to use these little tongs here that I added absolutely love. These are from Pampered Chef. They're called saute tongs. They're like 35 bucks, but I love them because they have this tiny little tip here. Take off that rubber band and you flip it over and then it becomes these tongs. Almost like little chopsticks and it makes it really easy just to grab something with a tiny, tiny little tip so we're not wiping off all the coating every time we grab it and flip it around. And it is raw chicken, so you really don't want to touch it with your hands any more than you have to. Before we coat our chicken, we're gonna turn on the oven here. We're gonna make it 375 and let that preheat. We have our station set up here with everything that we need to get our chicken ready. We got the chicken right here. I actually did put a piece of uh, paper towel down there just to soak up any extra water, even though we're gonna be dipping that right in the egg to get it wet and then right in the coating. And then we're gonna put it on this baking sheet right here. And there we go, that's all the chicken. I actually used three eggs in here, could have got away with two, maybe even one. Just depends on how much chicken you're using. We had just a little bit of extra coating here, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of chicken there, and they are coated very well. Oh my gosh, guys, those are turning out great. I cannot even tell you how excited I am for our chicken little flea flickers. All right, these need to go in the oven. 375, and we're gonna put them in there for about 20 minutes. Oh, these are gonna be good. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's take a look at these. Oh, they smell good. I'm gonna have to cut one in half just to test it because you don't want to be messing with chicken. Yeah, they feel like they should be done just by the way they're moving here, but let's go ahead and pry one open. If they're finished, it should come right apart. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Very juicy. Look at the steam rolling off of that. Smells so good. I'm not sticking that in my mouth yet, but we are going to do a taste test in a minute. Now while those cool down for a minute, I'm getting some dips ready here. I'm going to use Taco Bell Creamy Chipotle Sauce and Hidden Valley Buttermilk Ranch. Those will be delicious to dip these in. I got a Gatorade for the big game. All right, guys, there we go. Look at that. That looks so delicious. Chicken little flea flickers. We got the chipotle dip, the ranch dressing. I would prefer to have some barbecue sauce too, but I actually don't have any in there. I thought I did. But anyways, chicken little flea flickers. Perfect snack for our movie night with little giants. Let's give these a taste test. All right, a little piece of the one that I uh, cut in half to test. And let's do it with some ranch. Oh, look at that, guys. How delicious is that? Mmm, 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 mmm. That is so good. <laughs> I will say it's pretty spicy, so that extra pepper that I put in there you can definitely taste, but it doesn't take away from it at all. Let's give it one more little taste test here with the chipotle sauce. Oh, look at that. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's even better. Perfectly cooked, look at that. Oh, yummy. Chipotle sauce for the win. 